Hello YouTube! I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and if you are like me, then you have a fondness for the good old Italian cannibal films. While this subgenre has some of the most infamous and controversial movies that we have ever seen in cinema, there is still only a handful of them to be found. And after its heyday in the late 70s, early 80s, the output from this genre seems to whittle away. But there was still some to be found here and there, and today's review is one of them. The movie I'm talking about today is from 1985 and goes by many titles. It's known as White Slave, Cannibal Holocaust 2, Forest Slave, but the title I know it as is Amazonia The Catherine Miles Story. The story is set in Orinoco River in the Amazons where the 18 year old Catherine Miles from England has traveled so she can visit her parents who are the owner of a local plantation field. While out cruising on a boat trip, the Miles get attacked by a local tribe. Catherine's parents are brutally slaughtered and decapitated, while Catherine is able to survive after being drugged and knocked unconscious by a poisonous dart. Why didn't you try to escape since you're only wounded in the arm? I couldn't. I was paralyzed by the curare the Indians use on their arrows. The poison doesn't always kill right away, and I was able to hear all the horrible things the Guaymira were doing. But I couldn't even lift a finger and could hardly breathe. She is taken away by the tribe, led by the strong warrior named Umukai, and taken to their village. There she is sold to the high speeder and kept captive as a slave. A relationship between her and Umukai starts to develop, however, and Catherine is now trying to figure out a way to survive and get back to her own civilization, while at the same time the need of revenge for her parents' death are also growing within her. Can she make it out, or are Catherine now doomed to spend the rest of her life with the people she believes are responsible for the death of her parents? You will have to watch Amazonia The Catherine Miles Story to find out. Since Amazonia was released as Cannibal Holocaust 2 in several countries, mostly in Europe, I'm sure there was plenty of disappointed viewers who rented it expecting something grisly and brutal like the original Cannibal Holocaust. This film is something completely different. Amazonia is not trying to go for the same controversial, grisly violence that the original is known for. Instead, this is a much slower film dealing with everything from love to culture differences between the so-called modern society and what we might look at as savages. We spend a lot of time watching Catherine adjust to her new life and the relationship between her and Umukai, who she thinks is responsible for the murder of her parents. The story is told through flashbacks, as Catherine is shown in the start of the film being interrogated by the court of law, for actions we will see at the end of the film. I don't know if they had anything to gain by telling the story in this fashion, as the court scenes are unconvincing and kinda lame. That for over a year in that jungle, all you witnessed were horrors and atrocities? I suggest the prosecutor spend a week with the headhunters to ascertain her testimony. I also saw marvelous things. There were times when the beauties of nature were breathtaking and too wonderful to describe. Catherine is played by the French actress Elvire Adrey, who you might be familiar with from Scorpion with Two Tails, Iron Master, and many other films. She spends more time being naked than having clothes on in this film, looking fantastic and gorgeous, while her acting skills leaves a bit to be desired, but are still better than what you would expect from an Italian cannibal film made in 1985. The director of the film is Mario Gariazzo, who has also done a few other genre films that might be familiar to fans, including the eerie midnight horror show, Top Model, and Brother from Space. It does take good use of the jungle setting, delivering some nice shots of the wildlife, its narration skills also make the movie work, which is surprising since it isn't exactly a romance film you would expect going into this in the first place. The music is done by Franco Campanino, and you can easily hear that he tried to emulate the theme song from Cannibal Holocaust, making it easier to slap this with the Cannibal Holocaust 2 title. Amazonia The Catherine Miles Story, or whatever else title you might prefer for it, is an easy watch. It's a simple story told well in a nice jungle setting. If you're looking for another brutal cannibal film then this is not for you, although the few scenes with violence does go graphic. If you just enjoy the Amazonian setting however, then you might like it. And if you're not really into that, then at least you will have plenty of scenes to enjoy the beauty of Elvire Adrey. This might not be a great film, but regardless of how many times I've seen it now, I never get bored with it, even if I believe most people will find it to be a bit slow. I am going to be a bit nicer to it than what I expect most people will be, and give this a nice score of 3 
out of 5. Have you seen this film? What did you think of it? And are there other cannibal films that you enjoy that might not be the biggest one that everyone knows about? I'd love to discover some unknown ones that might not have crossed my path yet. One of my older reviews on YouTube is of one of the more modern ones from none other than Bruno Mattei that has also been called Cannibal Holocaust 2 and many many more titles. I did a review for it under the title of Cannibal Holocaust The Beginning, so if you're into this stuff then check that out. Be warned though, the quality of that video is not exactly the best. Hope you enjoyed this review and hope you decide to check this film out due to it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again here soon on Cinema Terror.